just going to say, I don't know if it's good morning or good uh, afternoon folks, or sorry old, board minds, welcome to White Beard's Kitchen, and what I'm going to do now is actually a chicken vindaloo, it's kind of for really one person, me after hopefully um, I've been to the rugby and back, so what we'll do is, we'll, let's get cracking, um, as you can see, probably still in the pyjamas. Well folks, what I have done just in a wee bit of preparation, this is roughly um, two small onions that I sliced, not too fine, kind of browned them up um, and then I uh, created almost like a puree by um, mashing them, um, just with a potato masher. So, now to show you the spices, probably um, you can't see it in the shot, but I'm using about 170, uh, 175 grams of uh, chicken thigh, I just have that cut into cubes. What I have here is a piece of cassia bark, one large bay leaf, for a change I found one. I have two black cardamom pods slightly uh, bashed. To my right here I have about two to three uh, tablespoonfuls of tomato puree. I use probably about a tablespoon and a half of this garlic and uh, ginger paste. Starting obviously with the spices, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cashmere chili powder, maybe two and a half teaspoons of a hot, extra hot chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin powder, two and a, two and a half teasp heap teaspoons again of um, hot curry powder, two teaspoons of coriander powder, roughly about uh, just over a teaspoon of uh, kasuri methi or uh, fenugreek leaves, I have those crushed, those will go in at the end, and probably about half a teaspoon um, of garam masala and that will go in at the end as well. So folks, I've just turned the oven on, or I should say the stove top, um, and uh, just heating up the onions a tiny wee bit. Um, what I'll do is I'll just add maybe um, a small taste of water to this because um, I don't want them to burn as they heat and I don't want certainly um, the spices to burn but I don't want the spices going into too much water. This is warm water that I have um, in so just get the onion going again. Turn that up onto high. So with the water still um, evaporating, there's, there's some left, I'm going to put in my bay leaf and put in my uh, cassia bark stroke cinnamon stick and the two cardamom pods and um, just to extract some of the flavours from those just toss these around um, along with the onion for roughly about um, for a minute so that's going nicely now um, in with um, the uh, garlic and uh, chilli paste which is proper garlic I should say don't buy the shop bought if you're going to avoid it so um, this is teaspoon so two of these um, and I do like my garlic and ginger, so two heaped teaspoons. Well, there's a wee bit left over, so I'm going to say two and a half. That's just over um, a tablespoon. So get that um, kind of fran off. I'm going to turn the heat down to roughly about a medium. Um, I don't want um, my garlic um, and uh, ginger, what do you call it, to burn. It's just really to release the fragrance of these. Um, I'm going to put salt and all in, just even at this stage. Get that all in. Turn it uh, down to just a low at the moment. So we need to heat off the spices and um, it brings out some of the flavour. Um, and as well, sitting about for a while, um, spices can sometimes be a little bit damp. What I'm going to do is, is just add a tiny splash of water to want the spices to burn. Just a drop. Get those spices cooked through. So that's the tomato in. Um, it's cooking off nicely, I can smell this, absolutely wonderful. Um, and probably as I say, get the green chilies over, I'm going to put these in now. Um, they're pretty big size, so this will probably equate to about four uh, green chilies that I've added. Um, what I normally do is I say, I buy my chilies, I've mentioned before, um, and I either cut them up um, into pieces like this, or I um, maybe uh, slice them. So these are the ones that I have cut up. So they're just literally out of the freezer, probably equate to about um, four reasonable size um, green chilies. Give those a stir around. Okay. What I'm going to do is add another small taste of water just to let the spices and tomato cook off. I'll turn it on to a high heat um, and leave this maybe for approximately about 10 minutes. Um, when I did the onions this morning, it was just browning them off. That took about 10 minutes. And then um, rather than put them into a blender to puree them down um, again, as I had a bit of a disaster with the tomatoes when I was doing them, kind of splattered everywhere. 
So, excuse me for some of the stains as well. And they're probably pieces of tomato. Yep, tomato seeds stuck to me. Nice. So what I'm going to do is leave this for about 10, 15 minutes. I'll just check it from time to time, make sure it's not burning. Um, and put the lid on now. Hopefully in 15 minutes time, um, I'll be ready. So just checking in on the space is doing there. Um, I've just added another wee taste of water. Um, the water had evaporated off. We're probably now into, I'm going to say, about um, eight minutes or so. Um, one last more little thing that I'm going to do. Um, you can either add maybe a good squeeze of lemon juice. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eyeball this. Um, and maybe um, you will be able to see this. This is for me um, cider vinegar. Um, I'm going to put in roughly about a tablespoon. Just gives that lovely tarty taste um, to the vindaloo that you get. And you'll see today, folks, no base gravy. And the smell of that vinegar going in with the spices is absolutely wonderful. But we'll let this cook for another um, maybe three, four minutes or so. Lid back on. Okay, folks. So in with the chicken. I'm going to get the spices, the sauce. This is going to be, um, if you want to make this um, with a lot of sauce, it will just be add more water. I will add water in um, again at some point. Um, but what I'm going to do is, um, I have this on a medium, just going to coat the chicken. And stick it up to a high. Chicken going actually. Um, and if I need to add a bit of water in, um, I will do. Um, you'll note that there is no turmeric in this. Um, but I just might add in for a tiny pinch. Give that a good stir around. Make sure that chicken um, is well coated. Um, as I say, this is a vindaloo, um, and you've seen those spices. Um, this will be um, quite hot. It'll be hotter, certainly, than the madras that I did the other week. You would have thought that I uh, probably had roughly about the same um, level of spices in the madras. But I suppose what makes things hotter to bring up to a vindaloo. Um, if I was doing this for like three people, possibly, um, you know, I'd maybe have four um, heat teaspoons of extra hot chilli powder for the vindaloo, it would only maybe be two for the madras. Um, I would maybe use, um, I, I would use maybe a mild madras uh, curry powder. Um, this is a hot curry powder that I have used. I've only put the one in, um, obviously because as I say, this is really for me. Um, at some point, I'm going to let that do on a medium heat. I, for about maybe 10 minutes or so, I'll come back and check it every few minutes. Well folks, here we are. This has been 8 minutes or so. Um, I just um, added just a wee tiny splash of water and because I don't, don't want it to stick, um, but it's got a nice thick consistency. Um, you know, I haven't decided yet whether I want kind of more sauce, whether I want it saucy or whether I want it a nice thick kind of Buna style vindaloo. I'm going to add in um, potato. So here we are. So this is roughly about uh, a medium to large uh, potato uh, that I have. I kind of power boiled it um, and just chopped it into these type of chunks. Um, generally you can put this in uh, raw and let it do that bit sooner. A bit more starch will come out, maybe more liquid um, from the potato. So in with the potatoes. Um, again, give that a quick stir around. Um, I have this sitting on, as I say, a medium heat. And you probably never have seen me cook this friggin' this quick in all your book and well knife. Because Ireland are in the rugby. I've probably mentioned that about half a dozen times. Um, so one needs to get shard. Um, and uh, just as I say, the good lady is up at the moment working on her candles. Um, so please do check out um, amysearth.com. Okay, just a splash of water. Um, and I will get the lid um, back on again. So I'm putting in here roughly now about a cup of water. I'm going to turn it up to a high. Hopefully my potato because I bloody well power boiled it. Won't break. Uh, but the joy of home cooking. And as I say, in another life, I might have been born um, a different nationality. Okay, lid back on. See is probably folks in about 10 to 15 minutes. Well folks, I checked in on it. Um, it was drying up so I added probably about another... Um, cup of water to the vindaloo and um, just checking the legs of the potato that potato is soft ish yep 
Um, so I'm going to let this do probably for another um, 10 minutes um, on the high heat. What I'm going to do is I am just going to add in um, the kasuri methi, the uh, fenugreek leaves. I've kind of crushed these, just crumbed them in between the fingers. Um, probably a good pinch and a half or two. Probably the equivalent of a teaspoon, just over it. Give that a bit of a mix round. Again, bubbling away as you can see, it's on a high heat. Lovely. It's getting to a consistency that I think I will leave it at. As I say, if you wanted a wee bit thicker, let it uh, just boil a bit more. If you wanted a bit more liquid to it, um, you wanted a bit more saucy, um, certainly a wee taste more water, let it cook away too. What I'm going to do now is just add in a pinch or two of garam masala. Um, just on the top. Um, I'm going to turn this off. Okay, and let it sit probably for uh, about five minutes. Um, and it would be ready to eat, but I am not going to eat it. I will wait until I come back. Hopefully in good form. I need to get off to get a shower. So, um, but I'll show you this in the pot, what it's like. Um, I'll maybe even attempt to taste a little bit. Well, here we are folks, and apologies, the steam is still rising out of it. Um, in a wee bit of a hurry, but that's my vindaloo ready for one. Um, I want to make it that wee bit saucy when I come back um, after the rugby this evening. I know, again, I've mentioned fucking rugby, I don't know many times, I'm so excited. Um, we're playing France today, I have French friends, um, and all I can say is for from about 2.15 onwards um, to about 4.30, fuck you, um, and what do you call it, um, we can be friends after, um, I jest obviously, but yeah, I mean, um, it wouldn't take you to be with me when the rugby's on, if you think I swear on this, holy Jesus, <laughs> um, at the rugby it would be a lot worse, I'm just going to um, just taste a little bit of this, yep, nice spice, and then while you feel that tingling around your tongue, that is absolutely wonderful, I, I have to admit, haven't done a vindaloo and I don't know how long and because I'm watching the likes of Latif's Inspired, a great humble guy, definitely check out his YouTube channel. Um, I'm watching My Little Kitchen, Shamsa, who is a home cook, um, she's of Punjabi or origin I think and I know that Latif is of Bangladeshi origin and another guy I have just tuned into recently. Um, Al's Kitchen. Um, Al is not Indian. Um, he's Caucasian. I think he might be from the London area. Can't remember. Again, another great cook. And watching these three guys, I definitely have improved my curries over the past, um, I'm going to say, um, nine months or so. This is a one pot vindaloo. Um, so there we are. I will enjoy this. Hopefully, I will enjoy it in good form. Come on, Ireland. Get in there. Well, folks, um, that's me. Um, I have cooked my vindaloo, I've shown it in the pot, um, normally we try now at times to show you on the plate, that's probably my good wifey telling me that, but today, bit of a hurry, down with the rugby, want to go up, get a quick shower, um, throw the, the clothes on, um, get down to the pub, have a few pints off the black stuff, the good old Guinness, um, it's like drinking fucking milk, it's great, watch the rugby, come on Ireland, get into the French today, um, and um, if Ireland win, um, I probably will have more than had a few pints. It could be several, um, like the other week. I think I had a good eight when I did the Madras. Um, so, um, see you soon. Um, please, if you like this video, do subscribe. Give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Um, I'd be grateful, as I say, please subscribe to it for me. Um, cost you nothing. I really appreciate everybody watching. Have a good weekend, rock on, and come on Ireland, get fucking into them. So, folks, I said that I may not be back, and I wished everybody a great weekend. But I am back. I am very inebriated, in other words, commonly known as drunk. Hence the fucking movement of the camera. So, this is my um, chicken vindaloo. Please do try it out. And you know something? I'm as proud as fuck of Ireland today. Bring on the World Cup and I hope we continue our success to win the Six Nations as it's called. 
This is a bit wobbly, this camera. My better half, my beloved, um, is not here to do this, so wrap on. I am now pleasantly pissed drunk, and I will intend to get more drunk. Drunker, who gives a shit? See you soon. Take it easy. Bye for now.